Is it true that we only use 10% of our brains? Huh. Well, please consider the following. This is Pete. He's a mouse. Now, a mouse's brain is smaller than one of ours. Unless, of course, you're talking about my old boss's brain. <laughs> His brain is smaller because he is smaller. Your brain is bigger because you are bigger. This 10 to 20% notion probably got started in the 1800s. In those days, researchers would put animals like mice or rabbits to sleep and then probe or even scoop their brains. When the animals woke up, they would function well or well enough. So researchers concluded that they didn't know what 90% of a brain does. Well, nowadays, we don't need to poke or probe. Instead, we can use scans. Here's a scan of my brain. With scans like this, we found that you use your whole brain all the time. Of course, sometimes, some parts of your brain are working harder than others. Like right now, I'm moving and worming furs. I mean, forming words. <laughs> so when I look at a picture like this, some part of my brain immediately says, that's a brain. When I show the same picture to Pete, he says, Pete, you say, you say brain. Go ahead. <laughs> we, we practiced this earlier. Pete? Thank you for joining us on Consider the Following.